Intrauterine adhesions are bands of fibrous tissue that form in the endometrial cavity, often in response to a uterine procedure. Intrauterine adhesions are often associated with menstrual abnormalities and infertility. These adhesions are commonly treated with hysteroscopic resection followed by mechanical or hormonal treatments. There are several ways to detect this problem. Hysterosalpingogram, which is a study done by a radiologist, outlines the internal shape of the uterus and can also show whether the fallopian tubes are blocked. The black areas within the cavity indicate scar tissue. A sonohistogram, a procedure that distends the uterus with sterile water and is done in conjunction with an ultrasound, can show polyps, fibroids, or scar tissue. We can get rid of the scar tissue by doing a procedure called a hysteroscopic resection. In this video, you can see that the patient has an extensive amount of scar tissue. All of this needs to be resected in order for her to achieve pregnancy. An embryo cannot implant in this type of environment. Once the scar tissue is removed, you can see the bilateral openings of her fallopian tubes, which you could not see before. In order to prevent new scar tissue from forming, a small balloon is placed within the uterine cavity for at least 28 days, followed by a high dose of estrogen in order to encourage healing of the lining. Once the balloon is removed, you are typically given progesterone to stimulate a period, and then a follow-up sonohistogram or hysteroscopy can be repeated to make sure the uterine cavity is completely healed.